I thought we were good. I thought we were really good, apart from not scoring our chances. Created loads, hit the post three times. Miss, we've missed from really close distance. Listen, the players did everything and more that I asked of them tonight. And uh, they were right up against it, and I'll say no more. Who do you think was the better team tonight? Who do you think was the better team tonight? So I think our tactics were good and I think we were polished. I think the only difference is we didn't put it in the net. So I'm pleased with my team. I think obviously teams are growing. If we score the first two, we're out of sight. If we score the second two, we've had enough chances to win the game twice over and we haven't taken those chances and we get a uh, penalty against us again. Um, and then we don't get anything the other way. So I won't make excuses. You know, if we, if we score our chances, we don't have to rely on poor officiating. Um, so, yeah, it's a disappointing night. It hurts. It's, uh, it's, I'm gutted because the players, the clubs, the league deserves better. And that's what I'm gutted about. And it's, I'm gutted because we lost and we had chances to win the game. Four penalties with many matches now. Obviously, that was the undoing tonight. You know, how? What can you guys do to change that? Well, unless I pin my players' arms and strap them to her side, which is a really unnatural place to run when she's not even looking at the ball and it hits her arm, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, to be honest, because if that's handball, then the game's dead. It really is, because she, her arms aren't up here. She's running, natural motion, no no adjustment of the arms, and the whistle went to the mouth quicker than I've ever seen in my life. So clearly there was a, a desire to, to give it. I, I can't change it. You know, we need to defend better in certain moments, but I can't. Other than pinning my players' arms to their side, I can't do nothing about it. Casey, without trying to get you fined or anything, um, are you able to describe just that interaction towards the end of the game with Caitlin and just what that card was like? I didn't know anything about it. I just turned around and saw a red and I was like, right, okay. And then I've got a goalkeeper in there crying her eyes out, absolutely devastated because she can't even give any type of feedback, you know, and yeah. Well, for next week, in terms of just kind of that backup plan and thinking through that, um, you know, just how confident are you in Carly? And yeah, listen, Carly's played in, isn't she? You know, she had really good performances when Kaylin is away. I think we need to speak to the official, is it pro, the official governing body about like if that's a red card, then again, the game's dead and we're going to have no players left to play with. So um, I think we need to speak to the officiating to see is that, are we happy with that being a red card? I think we need to potentially, you know, argue against it. And if, if, if it doesn't, which I know it won't, it won't go in our favour, then Carly's ready and she'll be prepared. So last week you talked about players having a, or in their spot on the field, and so I guess what went into Amira and Kaylee getting the start this week, and how did you feel they did? I thought Amira was brilliant. You know, I thought she gave us a real good 60 minutes, as long as she's played for us. I thought she was creative. She caused them problems. Probably should have scored. Um, that's the only kind of probably criticism I'd give. I thought she was very good for us. Um, and I thought Kaylee really again played well. So you know, I, I'm not a, a big one to change players if unless it's necessary. Hi coach, uh, sorry about the loss, but how are you going to turn it around against Houston? Score goals. You know, you look at our, our I would love to see our, our um, XGs tonight compared to theirs. Uh, I thought we defended really well at times, thought we were compact, created lots of positive moments and we need to score goals. We need to keep, continue to keep working on the training ground. We know we're in a difficult moment. We're an expansion team. This was gonna, this was gonna come. You know, everyone uh, starts panicking, I don't. I'm like, we have had a really good first half of the season. People have started to look at what we, we give them now and nullify it a little bit. But, you know, I'm perspective. We scored, we created enough chances to win that game twice over. We didn't take them. So we need to do more work in the final third and keep building confidence that we can score goals. All right, and my final question is, is how proud of you how proud are you of Amira Ali? I know you fought to get her on the team and I thought she did really well tonight. Yeah, really proud. She's worked hard to be able to get to 60 minutes fitness-wise and 
you know, it was, she thought she put in a real shift tonight and she showed the potential that she's got and why we're so keen to invest in her as a club. Yes, um, a couple of weeks ago, you said that Amira was still building back her time. Um, when do you kind of expect her to kind of be towards full? I know that it's kind of like a stepping stone. Well, 60 minutes, it probably goes to 65, it goes to 70. It depends on the type of the game. It depends on the conditions as well. You know, last week it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon, staunching heat. It was evening kickoff tonight, a little bit cooler, because um, the heat affects you differently as well. So, yeah, I was pleased that 60 minutes was in the bank, and we'll keep working from there.